So, those flashbacks happened again. Okay, Norman. Is it the same flashback you had the day you blacked out? And the one we've been talking about? Oh yeah, Doc. The same one. Only this time, there was something different. Different? How is it different? I'm remembering more. Okay, well, let's go over it again then. Um, you were working late at the school. You started to get dizzy and numb. Then you passed out. One of your colleagues found you and called 911. Was that right? No, doctor. It's different. And it scares me. Hmm. Okay, Norman. Let's start at the beginning. And tell me everything. Every detail. The dream starts off the same. I'm just finishing up at a track meet, putting away the equipment. And then the dizziness sets in. I felt pain, and then I blacked out. When I wake up, this time, I'm not in the recovery room. your energy for later. There's plenty of time for screaming. Mm -hmm. What? You're gonna look into this camera and you're gonna tell me what I wanna know and I'll stop hitting you. But I gotta tell you, I really like hitting people. I got a family to feed, you know? Boss, you sure we got the right guy? I mean, I don't know, but uh, doesn't seem like he knows nothing. Look, if I wanted your opinion, I'd beat it out of you. Roll tape. what the utmost importance is that you're completely honest with what you're about to tell me. Because if you ever expect to walk out that door, you're going to tell me exactly what I want to know. Or you're going to die. Hell, Norm, you start talking, you might just walk out of here. You know why you're here, Norman. We all know why you're here. You know exactly why we chose you. So what did these men want with you, Norman? Can you remember? They wanted a disc. They kept asking about a disc, insisting that I knew where it was. Do you know? No, no, I don't, I don't know where it was. But I lied. They were hurting me, and I, I just wanted it to stop. And so I lied, and I told them I knew where it was. I thought, if I could get somewhere that I knew, somewhere that was more familiar to me, that I'd be able to get away. Okay, I'll tell you. Oh, so soon? Yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah, about time. He lasted longer than the last guy. Don't lie to me, Norm. I hate liars, and liars hate me a lot more. In my office, at the school. It's in the back, in the coach's office. No one, no one ever goes back there. I'll take you there. Look, I got that thing with my kid. Go get the driver, take coach here, and go get the disc. But don't do anything until you hear any further instructions. 
Okay. Yes, sir. And then we were off to my school. They didn't think much about me because they just sent their driver in to watch me instead of doing it themselves. And I was still there wondering what the hell was going on. Look, Norm, find the disc. They ain't paid me to kill you. He's looking nice guy. So let's find the disc and get out of here, all right? Thanks. Uh, I kind of figured this wasn't your full-time job. It's Lenny, right? Yeah. Look, let's just find the disc and get out of here. Look, Lenny, can I ask you something? What? I've not seen the disc. I have no idea what's on it. Do you know what's on it? Nah, man, they don't tell me anything. All I know is some powerful people with lots of money want it. And I want a payday. Seriously? I mean, what would they want with someone like me? Look, I, all I know is that some military guys in suits talked to my boss about some kind of codes that were on that disc. Some codes about destroying the world or ruling the world. I'm hoping they want to rule the world, and I'd rather be on that winning team. So let's get the disc. So, what would happen if you and I didn't show up again with the disc? You told me if you didn't show up with the disc, for me to cancel you. You'd probably do the same thing for me. So let's get the disc. Game, nor man. <laughs> what in the hell is so funny? <laughs> she killed me. You'll never find it. <laughs> I don't have time for this. Boss. Norm. Seriously, just tell us what we want, you idiot. Norm! Norm, Norm, Norm. Ah, you dumb bastard. Ah. Should have talked. Ah. Next time, you'll know better. Just, uh, tell me if it's too tight. See, Norm, there are ways to get people to talk. Ah. Damn, Harry, take it easy. I'm just kidding, don't do it. So, Norman. Talk 
to us, Norm. Come on. God dang. I can still feel the wet sack suffocating me. The smell of oil and dust. The water was like ice lightning. I couldn't breathe. And it's like my head was my head was pounding and I just thought I was going to die. I I didn't know what to do. So I just talked. I lied. Again. I told them the disc was at my house. They believed me. So we were off again. I gotta turn off the alarm. It's just right back here. It's a nice house, Norman. Slow down. Don't make any sudden moves. I just don't want the cops coming. Let me just turn it off. Okay, it's off. Okay, come on. And the key is... Ah, ah. This is not the time to mess around. Okay. The, the last one. Last one. Don't make any sudden moves. Okay, let's okay. go. Where are we going? It's just upstairs, just in the guest bedroom. It's just right up here. Okay. I'm not gonna shoot you normally unless I have to. I hope you don't have to. Me too. It's just, just right in here. It's just right in here. Okay. Step out. Okay. Sit on the bed. Keep your hands where I can see them. All right, Norman. That's the chance to see if you're lying. <laughs> Shit. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. Yes, sir. He, I, I think he's playing games with us. I. He's telling. He's telling us that he has it, and I can't find it. it yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, I'll take care of it. All right. Yep. All right, Norman. You're gonna make me do it. I didn't want to, but you're making me do this. Damn it, Norman. Next <laughs> Thank you.
You, sir, are a glutton for punishment, aren't you, Norm? I showed them where it was. I really... Yeah, I and just you... just wanted to get home. Yeah, That's and us. you killed them, Norm. You, sir, are a murderer. Now, you're going to take me to the Ziz. I need myself. I don't care, Norm. You blew up your own house. Really, who blows up their house in broad daylight, Norm? There's really something wrong with you, man. Seriously, Norm. Take me to the disc. If I take you, you won't hurt my family. No. And you'll let me go. Well, yeah. It's at my father's cabin. My dad used to take me fishing. Oh, the old fishing hole. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. It's there. I. I put it in a rock, rocky area out back, behind the cabin. Try any funny business? I will kill you, Norm. It's down here. Yeah? How about you go down there and get it? Got it. You slow. And what's the cool thing? There's the only thing anybody can do about it. You don't have to. Ah! See, Norm, I know you're tight. You killed Lenny and you killed Harry. It only seems right that you kill me too. The story doesn't have a happy ending. I'm the tumor the doctors can't find. You don't have to do this. I don't know anything. You know, it's so beautiful out here in the element, Norm. You know, come to think of it, they told me not to kill you, but some people follow orders. Some people like jello. I just like to kill people. You're insane. You're sick. Really? You're just now figuring that out? Norm, the sun is setting on your life, and the last thing you're gonna do is call me names. Norm, buddy, I'm the darkness that awaits you. There's nothing you can do to stop. You ever just meet someone, Norm? You know, I knew when we first met that you knew that I would be the death of you. It's kind of weird sometimes, you just know. It's like a sixth sense. Or is it sixth sense? I don't know. <laughs> Isn't it funny, Norm? I'm going home to my family after all this and I'll be collecting a nice large paycheck. <laughs> I love this shit. You, sir, wasted your life in a cubicle and this is your fate? <laughs> you people are like cattle, you know? He's being fattened up for the slaughter. After all that, I woke up in the recovery room. I mean, the doctor said I had a tumor, and that's why I had the stroke, and I passed out. I didn't think anything of it at the time, but with all these new images, I, I just don't know what to think. But where's the disc, Norman? 
Where's the disc? The what? disc, Norman. Where did you put it? I... There, there's no disc. I mean... I, I wasn't expecting you to believe me. I mean... It, they were just dreams. Memories. I can't actually believe it myself. I'm sorry, there just was never any disc. I guess I just got caught up in your tale. I think your memory loss is from the, the tumor and the surgery. Sometimes your mind invents a way to cope during a difficult time. I'm glad you think so, Doctor. These memories are real. I just, it's too scary to think. Norman, I'd like to increase your dosage of medicines and start seeing you every day. Well, let's keep going over all of this, and if you remember any, anything, the minute you remember something, I want to hear about it. Thanks, Doctor. He's remembering. The drugs are working. Soon we'll have the disc. Thank you.